Hi folks, welcome back to Metabox tutorial. In today's practice, we are going to find out how to create a product page using Metabox and Cadence. Here I have a car rental page as an example for the product page. This is a single page built with Cadence containing the product's detailed information. Each product is a post of a custom post type. The name of this product and its descriptions are the title and content of the post. And, all of the remaining information will be saved in custom fields created by Metabox. I have the pro version of Cadence here to have some extra types of blocks to build the page. There's also the Metabox to have the framework for creating custom post types and custom fields. It's free and you can download it directly from wordpress.org. We also need some Metabox extensions to have advanced features. You can install them individually or just use Metabox AIO. Here are the extensions that we will use in this practice. MB custom post types and custom taxonomies to create a custom post type for the product. Metabox Builder to has a UI on the back end to create custom fields easily. Let's get started. Go to Metabox and create a new post type for your products. After publishing, you will see a new menu displayed here. It's your post type. These are the fields I'll create for example today. They are just some basic fields for typical information. Now, go to Metabox and create one by one. First, choose the number field for numeric information, such as rental price, car year, and max passengers. For the car year information, you can fill in an example year here so that when entering information, users can easily understand and enter the information correctly. Continue with the max passengers information. You also can enter numbers in the min and max value boxes to limit the number of passengers. Next, choose the select field to contain selective information. Fill in the options into the choice box. For other information, select the text field. In this box, you can add some descriptions to add information to the field. The last field is the gallery, choose an image advanced field to allow the user upload multiple images. That's all for the custom fields. After creating all the fields, move to the settings tab, choose location as post type. And then select car rental to apply these fields to this post type. You'll see all the created custom fields when creating a new post in car rental. Just fill in some information for your product. Go to Cadence and add a new element in the type of template. Set a preview now. Set the placement as replace single post content. Then choose single car rentals here. It means the single page of the product. I'll divide content on the page into two columns like this, so I add a columns block and choose the 50-50 layout. In the first column, 
add an advanced gallery block to display product images. Let's enable dynamic gallery to get images from custom fields, then you will see this button on the right sidebar. Before setting the dynamic data for the gallery, just set the gallery layout as slider first. Now, choose the post custom field option from the drop down list, and choose the custom field that we created to store the product image. You can set a reasonable size for the images in the advanced section like this. Move to the second column. Add an advanced text block for the product name. You also can use the text block instead, but it has fewer settings for styling than advanced text. There's a button with a familiar style here for dynamic content. Choose post title to automatically get the product name from it. To display the short description of the product, I also add an advanced text. Change the heading tag, and also set the dynamic content for it. Since I have short descriptions saved in the post excerpt, choose it. Next, just use the text block or advanced text for the pricing. Add the unit price in the right form, then add dynamic content from the custom fields. Choose post custom field in the same way with gallery, then choose the field. The number has been displayed immediately. Let's style the text a little bit. In this practice, I just style the display of the page in the simplest way for reference purposes only. For this section, we will use the row layout block provided by Cadence. Select the two columns layout. Add advanced text block. And type the name of the product characteristic. In the column on the right, add an advanced text as well. Then add dynamic data from the corresponding custom field to it. I put this row in the basic style, so move on to the next one. For saving time, you can duplicate the row. Change its name and field to the right one. That's done. Let's see the page on the front end. That's the end of today's tutorial. If you want to try more, please watch other tutorials on this channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe us for more tutorials. Bye.